Thank 
moment within the world, one night with the king, oh Lord, and I don't know what I'm going to do the Lord and 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 the Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I would like to take this time to greet all the saints in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. He has made this day to be possible. Once again, we are gathered in this platform on our monthly Ignite session. Hallelujah. Where we, we are here to fellowship Matandegayo. And the theme of this um, monthly Ignite, this November Ignite, it is equipped to um, effectively fulfill God's assignment in the current move of God. Amen. So we bless the Lord that he has made this day to be possible. Uh, this is the ministering and spiritual gifts helping and Northwest um, Ignite session. Hallelujah. So you are all welcome. But there's nothing much that we will do. We pray and we hear the word from the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the platform that has been created for us so that we can um, stay up our gifts as it is recorded in, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. Hallelujah. Where the word of God says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stay up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Amen. So basically, Batandegayo, in this platform, we are going to, we, we are being put into remembrance, hallelujah, to stay up the gift of God in us, hallelujah. We are here, it's like the extension of our MSG classes, hallelujah, where we hear, we, where we are trained to hear the voice of God and minister our, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. So we bless the Lord, Batandegayo, for that he has made this day to be possible, hallelujah. We would like to remind the saints that a uh, this monthly ignite session amen it will also it is also found on youtube amen there's a youtube page um with called ignite amen um pastor guy will kindly um share the link on the chat box for us so that those that would like to go through the previous um monthly ignites you will find them um on, on on youtube amen so i would like us all but to pray uh, after we have prayed then we will call upon the servant of the lord who will share the word of god with us tonight amen we believe god willing after the word of god we will have some time 
uh, to, to, to have activations. Glory to Jesus. Because this is the perfect platform, glory to Jesus, for us to practice and to exercise our spiritual gifts. In the name of the Lord. Amen. May we kindly all open our mics and pray. After praying, then we will ask um, those, the one that is going to share the word of God with us tonight, to kindly ascend the stage and share the word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Makala basanda raboshi ndi kuba handa raboshi anda ne basi taya nda raboshi ndi kala manda raboshi ndi kaso 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 Thank you, saints. Over to you, Mama Guayama. You can ascend the stage and share the word of the Lord. Amen. Apologies, but 
right there. We are experiencing load shedding. So I'm not sure whether I am visible enough or must I switch off the video? I am really not sure. But, uh, thank you so much. Okay. As I've mentioned, we are experiencing today. Let me greet all the saints in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love the Lord. I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. For opening this time, you to and share the word of God. Hallelujah. Without wasting any time, um, if I please to to the book of Ephesians, chapter four, we are going to read from verse eleven to verse fifteen. And Ella Ogutindi found from the Passion Translation, um, version in the Peteo. And he has appointed, excuse me, some with grace to be apostles, and some with grace to be prophets, and some with grace to be evangelists and some with grace to be pastors, and some with grace to be teachers. And their calling is to nurture and prepare all the holy believers to do their own works of ministry. And as they do this, they will enlarge and build up the body of Christ. These grace ministries will function until we all attain oneness into the faith, until we all experience the fullness of what it means to know the Son of God. And finally, we become one into a perfect man with the full dimensions of spiritual maturity and fully developed into the abundance of Christ. Verse 14, and then our immaturity will end and we will not be easily shaken by trouble nor led astray by novel teachings or by the false doctrines of the deceivers who teach clever lies. But instead, we will remain strong and always sincere in our love as we express the truth. All our direction and ministries will flow from Christ and lead us deeper into him, the anointed head of his body, the church. Hallelujah. And so is a time before then we can start. Amen. Bow in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we all see, Lord, we are aware because of Jesus that we are his children to go into
PDK that we've been given, it's, it's saying equipped to effectively fulfill God's assignment uh, in the current move of God. Amen. Each and every one of us has been given an assignment by God. And Mshambi, just to explain a little bit about what is an assignment. An assignment, we can say, is a mission or a position which a person is, is assigned. In the body of Jesus Christ, we all have a position and a distinct mission to fulfill. Hence, it is vital that we are equipped in order to fulfill this mission. Hallelujah. The assignment, it can be big. You know, it can be mind-blowing. But if we are not equipped or armed, it can be aborted. Hallelujah. It is a great commission. And it is the blueprint as his church. If you go and read Matthew chapter 28, that's where you will get then the Great Commission. After we are ascended to heaven, after the ascension, the Father sent the Holy Spirit to empower the body of Christ for the Great Commission. Hallelujah. If I'm shambling ends are just a, 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 an example, when we go to the book of Genesis chapter 6, we see Unoa, a man who was blameless. That's how the scriptures are putting him. He was righteous among the people. He walked with God. Uti oge unika unoa an assignment. Let us remember what this was not Noah's assignment, but God's assignment that God wanted Noah to execute. Make yourself an ark because I am going to destroy earth by, blood, uh, by flood. We see here God giving Noah specifications of how the ark should be built. In other words, we can say God himself equipped the Unoa for his big assignment. And 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 when you read further, he had to divide the E.T. Unoa did everything just as God commanded. Hallelujah. Another example, so that then we see so was the background to the top, or see was we apply the topic. We see Umeri, a virgin girl from Nazareth, who was favored by God, and God's assignment in her life was disruptive to her normal life. The assignment. At a time, he figured the assignment at a time when she was in a process of getting married to the Joseph. The assignment was for the Savior or Messiah who would ask to come Elizabeth to save the people from their sins, which was a fulfillment of a prophecy by Isaiah. What is profound uh, about this assignment is that God already prepared her a mentor who would equip Mary in this difficult journey that she was beginning. And you see, on a land of a message that was said uh, by the angel, Uti, is it Mary? Elizabeth, your cousin, is also pregnant. She is at an advanced stage. 
six months to be precise. And I believe in my heart that O Elizabeth played a critical role in grooming Umer. Hallelujah. During a pregnancy, she was, because she was more advanced with uh, pregnancy compared with Umer. And I also believe Uguti, U Elizabeth taught Umeri how a pregnant woman uh, carries herself, equipped her for the different stages of her pregnancy. We, we, we see those who are advanced teaching and equipping those who are still young so that they can effectively fulfill God's assignment in their lives. And, and, and let those who are advanced in their spiritual development be reminded tonight of their responsibility to nurture the up and coming generation. Hallelujah. And this is to be done for the fulfillment of the Great Commission. Hallelujah. When you look uh, in the book of Acts chapter 18 verse 24, we see a Jew named Apollos, a man who was fervent, you know, enthusiastic in the spirit, a learned man with a thorough knowledge of the scriptures. Uh, in Bible, he taught about Uyesu accurately, but he only knew the baptism of John. Hallelujah. And, 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 in Bible, he created it when Upresila and Uakwila heard this man, Apollos, they invited him, but invited to their home and explained to him the way of God more accurately. Hallelujah. Because this couple saw that this man had Israel for Uti, but they could not pick up, or sorry, they could pick up Uguba. There was another dimension that Apollos needed to know and be equipped on, hallelujah. And, and this couple understood Isidus that he, it was not only Aquila, which is the man, but both, meaning the husband and the wife, they could interpret the scriptures, hallelujah. And, and their approach is key because not in a rush, but in a safe place. I am sure who Apollos had an opportunity of asking questions, trying to understand better. Hallelujah. They never embarrassed who Apollos because why understand a certain dimension and understand it. Hallelujah. in a private space and did what the apostles are supposed to do. All dimensions of the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Oh, Apollos, God equipped him so that when he went out, he was ready, not only carrying an incomplete gospel, but presenting all truth. Hallelujah. Being equipped for a ministry requires all five ministry gifts. Not only Uguti Sibe exposed, as we know, we've been too exposed to one which is the pastors for the longest time but we need equipped 
by all five ministry gifts. Hallelujah. Like how we get had an understanding. But more amazing about this couple was the fact that Longoskas Upisila also understood the scriptures. It was not this thing, eighty women are not to understand this bad. But this woman had a deeper revelation. Hallelujah. But by the way, Upresila was a friend and a co-worker. Young Postile, Upon, Hallelujah. And and Lendo Ivusa Inweti in me. As women, we need to go deeper. We sing to Zikatiko, Hallelujah. The equipping of the saints, it is not only for men. When I see equip, I go equip, hello, all the men go that, Hallelujah. It is not even a gender based, but men and women together, hallelujah, must be equipped. As a peleli, this is a issue, your mom, as a peleli, a kitchen, who pay women, but we need to go deeper into the things of God for the work of the ministry, hallelujah, and and and. This couple is an example if I'm trying of a ministry couple, a husband and a wife team. Hallelujah. And, and if we look, I always make this example uh, in the Old Testament of a woman called Hulda. Amen. Oh, Hulda, who were the kings of the time, would consult Hulda who was a prophetess because she could validate or interpret the book of the law she had a spiritual perspective and she was very intelligent i'm talking about a woman let's wake up yes but the best fazani early kasha i know kasha of saying let men be equipped and tina shake again that is not the time. This is not the time. And we will be sustained by being equipped or not by emotional sermons, but under the teachings of the apostles and the prophets. Hallelujah. Of Ephesians chapter 4. We are told that the saints need to be equipped for the ministry so that the body of Christ may be built up, not entertained for church. Because I think for the longest time, we, we have been entertaining. Let me not even go and explain further. But in equipping, I entertain but it is for the ministry so that the body of Jesus Christ can be built up. Hallelujah. Every gift needs to function until we all come to a unity. unity. to intimacy. to immaturity. Hallelujah. This means that these gifts will continue to function until Uyesu Abu. And Ukuba equipped Mshambi, if Mshambi, I can give just a, a, a brief explanation. It is to make someone complete or prepared or adequate and qualified for something. Hallelujah. We are equipped to love Jesus to love one another and win the lost. That is the reason why we need to be equipped. Yes, Omnia Umbali, Utika Epalayo. Equipping is not about, about acquiring knowledge week after week and making believers spiritually overweight. We are created 
to do more than attend church. Hallelujah. A church full of attendees who are unequipped is not what Jesus died for. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, truth must be told. Our churches have, have turned out to be a storage zone. You know, where we are more concerned about the numbers, but not about e growth and equality. We have become very complacent and 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 not do you of becoming very complacent. Whether ikonana is spiritual growth, eh, 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 when we talk about the storage zone or the storage location, we can say it is a place where goods are stored. Yinda wo yobudi, or yinda wo yobudi nisa. But, but no growth with storage zone. Abu ko growth, abu ko life. Because in the end, your beggar band or your beggar from those goods. You know, there is a stagnation of some sort. Everyone is content to see the church activities, the continuation, with little care to see whether we are moving forward or moving backwards in our spiritual development. to a point where sometimes there is one person who stands on a pulpit and preach and we are all expected not to question you know or, or, or ask for clarity or understand more about the particular uh, message uh, uh, that was being said the church of Beria, I think it's in the book of, 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 of Acts chapter 17, was so different. It was different in Moro Shobolondoba. It is in chapter 17. O Paul and Silas, they went to this Beria church. And they, as they were teaching, they would teach. And after finishing teaching, hey, the saints would search the scriptures in the Bible day after day to see if Paul and Silas were teaching the truth. This is what the church of Beria used to do. Are we there as the saints? Are we, are we at that level of Ukuba? Whenever someone says something, we go to the scriptures and search what was being said, if it's right and if it's according to the scriptures. Hallelujah. We we, we continue get in 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 but in, in the church to be fed, but no chance is afforded to exercise or even activate or practice what is being taught. This is where the problem is. We, we have entered the psalm. Early, early, I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And, but we have camped well, Sango, for too long in this gate because we showed people to activate or to equip the saints. When, 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 when I do an introspection or even now my introspection and a question 80, 
iphelele lento esiyamkeleyo apha sibizelwe only ukuba singene in church we listen and then we go home is that it iphelele apho uyesu wethu did he die only for me to mark a present in church i don't think so but when hence we need to be equipped to effectively fulfill god's assignment in this current move of god hallelujah and you find what is sometimes we're even released into the work of ministry or service without being equipped hence we end up causing casualties or namanye magama inwelekha or wounded people how is it possible ukuthi we are given a gun full of life ammunition without knowing how to operate it you will shoot at the wrong time and you will shoot at the fellow soldier instead of shooting at the enemy hallelujah and hence we end up destroying one another instead of embracing the gifts that each one of us has been given nale understanding it we have been raised by god as an army for such a time as this so that we are able to pull down strongholds casting down imaginations and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of god we need to be trained and we need to be equipped hallelujah you know in the last um, msg uh, conference in the scenario we were taught about apostolic centers and apostolic hubs that must be set up for equipping the saints and and these hubs needs to be available so that the saints can even be ready to be effective in the marketplace bangwele asikwazi ukuxhotjiselwa only to be in church eh you know kufuneka xa sithesa xhotjiso or xa si equipped or trained sikwazi ukufumaneka and be balanced not only sifumaneke in church but sefulakale ukufumaneka even in our homes even abantwana bethu bangakwazi ukusifumana this equipping is not only for serving each other and God's way but it is also for serving even at home even in the society as it will you actually in all the seven mountains of influence oh doctor oh doctor little harmony if i can quote from in what yeah can i badileyo at um the day of the saints ubala uti uti the offices meaning the apostles prophets evangelists teachers and the pastors are the ones Christ has called and commissioned to activate the saints into the supernatural works of the believer ile fivefold gabo e fivefold basic grill a drill sergeants and officers of the army of the lord to train saints to be warriors and then lead them in the 
led him to victory. These ministers are called Uguti Ziti Govern, Ziti Guide, Ziti Gather, Ziti Guard, and Ziti Ground God's people. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the apostles then, and the prophets, Iman Dejabu, it is to bring the body of Jesus Christ to a spiritual understanding. They need to mature the saints. Hallelujah. We need to be established, not for our own benefits. Hallelujah. Or for being spectators. One speaker the other day, Uti Asi Ikupelo, Uti Sisonge Isaac. Hallelujah. Uti Sibesi spectators. But we are being equipped so that see that we forefront hallelujah hence we need to be rooted and built up and see the established in the faith hallelujah and when we are rooted or matured or established we are not easily deceived hallelujah we are equipped to move from Elisango, Eloguti Ndimamke Luyes, and trained to become sons. Impawu Zobu Krestu Kufuneka Zifeli. Hallelujah. We end up having an understanding about Imandate and God's assignment. Go ye therefore and make disciples, and we become ministers. Abu koshle di pants abu galayo, abu koshle di pants osongi zanja. But kasi ne understanding and see trained and see years the mandate that we've been given. We all become ministers. If I fold again. It is the one that increased the workforce because everyone needs to be trained soldiers so that the kingdom of God can advance. Increase the workforce to advance God's kingdom. Hallelujah. The harvest, as the word of God is saying, is plentiful. The harvest is plentiful. But you could show the workers are few, and the solution to the few workers is equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. Yazi, the Antioch church is bad. Antioch was birthed through saints who escaped the persecution at Jerusalem. Actually, in they were a product of the equipping that was done by the apostles in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. These were people Abba Ambayo at Jerusalem, who left in Jerusalem through the persecution, as I've said. But they were able, these saints, to start the work in Antioch. Allow me to say, Bahnuel, the church in Jerusalem, it was an apostolic center because they were able to train and equip the saints, Asene, the Suki, the Bangeni, the Jerusalem, Bagwazi, Ubukala, Umsebens, and Antioch. Hallelujah. The equipping needs to be done so that we can come to immaturity. And the fivefold ministry uh, needs to train the body of Christ so that Sifike Ebu Dodeni Obu Peleleyo. Hallelujah. When you go and read in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 13, uh, 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 I think from verse 1 to verse 3 or 4, it had her about to turn. And, and, and you know what was uh, 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 highlighted to me? Indoba Kasi equipped as the saints 
we develop the character of Jesus Christ. That is, we even mature spiritually. Hallelujah. Ngoguma Utando dominates who we are. We begin to follow the way of love and eagerly desire his spiritual gifts. Hallelujah. And even when you go to the book of verse, uh, uh, Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 1, for the impact that is more, his spiritual gifts cannot go alone as it was a gift without the character of Jesus Christ in us. And we need zombie, the character. And we also need the spiritual gifts together. Hallelujah. And the character, the gift, go hand in hand. Both the gift and the character, they come from the Holy Spirit. But you will find you put a gift it is quicker to develop than the character or the fruit of the spirit. Both in character and in the gifts of the spirit. And it will take a development of the character of Christ in us to be able to minister the gifts of the Spirit at the level he ministered two years or a power operator and as I am about to close the equipping of the saints it needs to happen we need to be equipped we need to be trained for the work of the ministry. Ibanja needs to arise and lifigi le ikesha lokuti ibanja. Let it arise. Saints need to be equipped to have influence. As the equipment, as I'm saying, ukuti si shale banja ni si jonga ane soto. But si ikwipelwa, ukuti si benayo i influence. Hallelujah. Even wherever we go. And when we are equipped, we will be able to effectively fulfill God's assignment in this restorative move of God. The Holy Spirit, you know, must help ukuti ati raise the apostles and the prophets, even in these last days, because they are short and us, and silly banja, see her besides the bulana, and as I born in the warriors for the longest time. But it is time now, Uguti Uti go at raise the apostles and the prophets. We need them so that. Sikwazi ukuti situe equipped for the work of the ministry. Utiko and Sikwazi. Oh, hallelujah. We bless the Lord Batandegayo for his word. Ungulungulu u uchoka for Ortega. Amen. Uguti kubalule kile for us to be equipped as the saints for the work of ministry. Hallelujah. So that inga peleli ekube nisibe equipped, God was to exercise, glory to Jesus, what has been bestowed unto us. Dizotela sivuleni songi mics. May we all open our mics and thank the word of God in prayer. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you, saints. Um, we bless the name of the Lord for his word. Hallelujah. Um, without further ado, we will go straight to activations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It was emphasized as Umama was sharing the word of God. Uguti, it is important for us, glory to Jesus, to be activated and to practice. Hallelujah our spiritual gifts amen so we will head straight to activations matandikayo our activation we will pray for three minutes in the spirit hallelujah and then upon praying then um we will ask god to open our spiritual eyes to see in the spirit amen then uh, after praying about that you will be given a chance uh, to inform us about what you saw. Hallelujah. We'll pray for three minutes and then ask God to open our spiritual eyes. Whatever that you will be seeing, that the Spirit will be showing you. Hallelujah. You can jot it down. And then when we are finished praying, then you can um, raise your hand and then you can begin to minister as to what is it that you saw in the spirit amen i hope the the, the 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 activation instruction it is clear it is also um there on our screens amen so shall we open our mics for three minutes pray in the spirit and ask for the activation um of our spiritual eyes hallelujah ask god to open our spiritual eyes so that whatever that we will be seeing then we can minister um, that which the Lord um, 
will, will show us. Amen. Shall we open our mics and begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Amen. La
for far too long we have camped into this image that we have been seeing we have been complacent about the image we have been seeing reflected on the mirror hallelujah the reflection of tradition the reflection your color way to when the way to see the reflection you know your 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 when the way to you was way to you know the normal way of doing things so i i i believe i saw that mirror being broken it's like the lord is saying that which we are used to has been now scattered has been now broken because god is going to do a new thing god is doing a new thing enga dingitina ukuthi simane si reference to what we are used to enga dingitina simane si reference to to what we know what we are used to so this is what i believe i saw batanegayo so all those that have seen um you can begin to minister one after the other you can come in i see your hand is raised nabani but and guy or abba when you lay whatever you can raise your hand um then we can point you you can come in the company uh, thank you so much while the rain is i begin to ask the holy ghost what is this rain about that i am falling down on a dry and parched ground and he then said to me that there is a rain of the spirit he reminded me about the announcement that elijah made the announcement that elijah made when he began to say that uh, there, there will be a rain and a mighty rain coming in his life He reminded me about that to say that there is going to be a rain in the spirit that will be falling down on his church. And because of that rain, things which have died out will begin to grow again. Things which have been stolen, avoided, and killed by the enemy will be resurrected, be brought back to life. And um, going forward, what has been known about the church will change the image about the church will change because of this mighty rain of the holy spirit that will be falling down in our land and in the nations of the world thank you amen um mamu ngabi powe you can come in i see your hand is raised You can unmute mama and okay diabuli sa sa nani kanini kanini sa amen as we were praying uh, i had an Im- I, i saw an image of a jug a jug that is like an ornament but this jug ingati gold to me it looked like it's plastic but the more i looked at the jug i could see you could have plastic it's gold real gold the more i looked at it it became clearer and clearer and uh, i i saw this image as uma mungonyama was ministering and i heard the lord saying you are a vessel of gold and i was i was taken to second timothy chapter 2 verse 20 where it talks about different vessels in the house of the lord and as i looked at this vessel it was seated there in the in the zinix is shallele and my attention was drawn to to the handle and i believe I had the, the the spirit of the Lord impressing good you are usable in God's hand. And I also I also had the word deliverance. 
that's all that I heard. I don't know whether it's a ministry of deliverance that God is, 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 is calling you into. I don't know. I just heard the word deliverance. Amen, Zalwan. Amen. Um, maybe, Mama, just before you go, can you kindly um, pray as, as you were ministering to Mama Ngonyam? Maybe kindly pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Baba that is the vessel that we have chosen. I thank you that this Zula goes and what you have said in the Mpiloyake shall surely come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Sesichi Longo Sukuti. We need vessels that can be usable to pour into your church, to pour into your people, to equip us more in Jesus' mighty name. May every other gift that is hidden at this stage surface and, and come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Um, another hand is raised and Kosho Kenobangu Miss the O Mrs. O Miss Polisa Dani. So you can come in. Amen. Amen. Um as we are here, um I believe that um I saw the Lord just show me a tree in the middle of a desert. Um, it was very dry the, the place was very dry and very hot and as I drew closer to the tree the stem of the tree is very rich and very thick and very strong and when I look at the leaves of the tree they're very green and um, they open up they open up like an umbrella. As they open up like an umbrella, um, shade is provided. And as shade is provided, I see multitudes of people coming to sit under that tree. I believe, you know, that the Lord is saying that in this time and place, He is restoring the body of Christ and as he restores his body, it will provide a shade by itself. A shade that no, nothing in the land can ever provide. Um, the reason I say this is because this tree was standing by itself in the middle of a desert. And I believe a desert just represents um, the wasteland and just the dryness, you know, surrounding the earth. But the Lord in that dryness will restore the body of Christ to its glory. And in turn, the body of Christ will then, will, 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 will in turn. Oh, sorry, I was asked to start my video. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so as, as um, the, 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 the body the body of Christ will in turn be restored um, to its glory and all nations will come to dwell under that shade. All nations will know that when they need rest, they should come to be in the house of the Lord to find that restoration and that rest. So I believe in this moment and time, the Lord is really restoring the body of Christ to its rightful place. And that's the representative of the green leaves. That is the representative of the strong Paul stem that is showing that is rooted in Christ himself and nobody else. Amen. Amen. Um, is there anybody else? Hallelujah. Um, and thank God for his word. Amen. 
Amen. Simbulele about um, what he has revealed to us in the spirit and simply for the fulfillment um, of what he has said. Amen. Shall we open our mouths and pray? we know that this word tonight is our life. We pray that we have seen that you Change and redirect us as you please, mighty God. We adapt the mandate tonight. Adapt, mighty God, what you have spoken to us tonight. You are alive and you will to continue to live and stay strong within us, mighty God. We are surrender our will, Heavenly Father, and we say, take charge right now, mighty God. Jesus Christ, take charge, Heavenly Father.
to to inquire from the person that invited you to the session um, about MSG classes, amen, so that you can enroll to um, register and be on the next intake of MSG classes, hallelujah. So we are encouraging you, if you are not yet a student, to ask for information from the person that invited you so that you can be part of the MSG uh, students, amen. We would like to hand over to Babum Fundi Sukai for further announcements. Amen. Thank you so much, Matandegayo, for your attendance. Thank you so much for your availability in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so very much, uh, Delhi. Uh, much appreciation. Um, thank you so much, beloved saints, for all of us to connect here tonight. Finding time and blocking this time and ensuring that you do connect. Indeed, we give the, the Lord the praise for, for your time. We believe that you have been edified, you've been equipped, you are developed, you are encouraged, you are inspired. There are tools which are practical that you got tonight in terms of what you can use going forward about uh, the subject at hand and about uh, ensuring that uh, going forward, you really, really uh, use the tools that you've been given tonight to serve and fulfill the assignment God has for you in this lifetime. Remember, we aren't just here, but we're here because God has brought us here for an assignment that we need to have accomplished. Thank you so much. I think Delhi, you've covered all the announcements, except just to maybe encourage and reiterate exactly that, to say we, we have what you call MSG, Ministering Spiritual Gifts. Ministering Spiritual Gifts. These are classes, you know, uh, for, for or to be attended by any member of the body of Christ. You are a child of God, you are saved, you want to learn how to exercise yourselves in the gifts of the Spirit, how to hear the voice of the Lord. Jesus said that my sheep hear my voice. So make sure that you, you attend. Like Daily said, speak to whoever that invited you on this session so that they provide you with more information about uh, what is required and about how you can uh, connect to um, you know these classes and be equipped. You know, you don't want to, at the end of your life, get to realize and see how much of the resources have been wasted or a different uh, purpose that you have been serving as opposed to that which God would have loved you, uh, uh, for you to, to set. So please make sure that you connect with us. You get information you are uh, amongst those that will be uh, in the next intake for MSG 1. As we speak now, there's an MSG 4 that is going on. And that is why others could not even connect on this platform tonight. Beloved Saints, thank you so, so much. I think I can only um, say again that we have a, a YouTube channel for your convenience. YouTube channel that is called Ignite. Ignite. Uh, the, did I post the link here? I think I did. You want to confirm? Yes, that you posted it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. The link has been posted right here. Uh, all you do is hit that link. It will then take you to the Ignite. Oh, yeah, here is it. Will just take you to the ignite uh youtube channel and all you can do is to um obviously watch and go through that uh, like you know comment there respond those responses are very critical and like and then share to many others don't forget to subscribe because once you are subscribed and you press that notification button it's usually on the top right there once you press those those two three things every time when a new um, video is uploaded, you will get a notification for you to go to the channel, go to the platform and be edified, be equipped and be empowered. Be, be equipped, be edified and be empowered. Now make sure that you also send this link to as many possible people as you possibly can reach to also be there. You know, uh, receive the same blessing as we are receiving, as we are going to receive. So last month, uh, uh, October, monthly uh, Ignite session is also uploaded there. As we speak, when you go there, you will find it. Tonight's session will be uploaded by latest before the end of the week, say tomorrow, so it will be uploaded right there. May the Lord bless you, beloved saints. May the Lord do you very well. Until we meet again, I think the December Ignite session will be on the 9th. You can just diarize that. The 9th of December will be the December MSG monthly Ignite session and invite many others that's come and join in together and learn and be edified, be equipped and be empowered. Lastly, Abu thank you so, so much. 
for um, really making time, preparing in the face of the Lord and getting this, you know, solid meal ready for our consumption tonight. Indeed, I must confirm that we are edified, we are equipped, we are better people, we are empowered, and we've got the tools that we can use going forward in ensuring that we are able to fulfill the, uh, the, 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 the assignment God has given over our lives. Thank you so, so much. Daily over to you for closing, and God bless you, beloved saints. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord, Batanegayo. Um, yeah, we can all pray, and as we close the service with with prayer, Amen. We can all pray and thank God for everything, and then we will meet again on the December night in the name of Jesus, Amen. Mandala Bashika, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity.